Hey guys, Caesar here. We're gonna talk about how to fix your blinking red light in your NES, your Nintendo Entertainment System, and let's see if we can get that working for you. I'm gonna give you three tips in this video on how to fix it. Let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about this Nintendo. This was actually my personal Nintendo. This would be the second one I fixed this week. Um, the problem with my personal Nintendo was that it was having problems with loading games. Um, sometimes I would have it up here and then the game will, will load. Or sometimes I'll have to like play with it, like juggle it around. Or sometimes I have to tap on the reset button a couple times and then it, it clicks in. If you, see, if you get that dreaded red blinking light, there's a security thing inside here that you can actually cut and, and snip so it, go, it bypasses that, but it basically is, is a security to make sure nobody's copying games. I, I believe that's what uh, I was reading up on. Um, so you can get rid of that if you want to, but not totally necessary. I was able to figure out how to get this beautiful machine back up and running. I also retro the uh, the top part of the case. If you, have, you guys have any questions on how I did it, pretty simple. I let it sit outside. It was super yellow before. I let it sit outside in the clear bin with some hydrogen peroxide. My, my, the one I was using is 3%. Per, 3 I heard of other people using uh, 15% or, or 12% somewhere in there. I don't think it really matters as long as it's outside and it's evaporating within the, the clear bin. And uh, I'll post a picture here so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so if you're having problems with your Nintendo, these are the three fixes that have helped this one. First one was, I, I didn't know this until another awesome soul posted this up, but he said, if you take your zip socket right here, pop that guy out, you don't wanna mess with the China ones, the aftermarket ones, if possible, fix the legitimate Nintendo ones. This is the one that came with my Nintendo, this is the one I was gonna work on. You pop this out and you stick it in hot boiling water. I have a tea kettle. I let it sit there for a good 10, 15 minutes uh, boiling and then popped it in. And I think that's what did the trick. I also cleaned inside the um, the contacts with some diox dioxid, deoxid. Anyway, how to pronounce that? D7. It's for electronic cleaner. So I think that might have helped as well. Um, and then last but not least, inside. These pins right here, you actually get one of these tools. I have like a little pick tool. And then I just started to bend bend these right here. As you bend these in, you can go in there and just pop them up, pop them up. It creates a tighter fit, but it gives you a peace of mind that this is actually going in and snugging. All right, so we're in, push down. Let's test her out. Hit the power button, and there she is. Pretty awesome, right? So, I haven't gone through all my games. Let's try Dr. Mario. You can see it loading right away. There's Dr. Mario. This could be a cartridge issue. Sometimes Super Mario 3 gives me issues, but let's try her out. Loads right away. So yeah, you see how it has, gives that glitch? This, this game may need to be cleansed, uh, cleansed out from the inside. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of gameplay. I, I think I'm gonna take it apart and, and fix that one like I did the other one in my other video that you'll see on my channel and clean it up. Um, but yeah, this game has been, uh, has been used a lot so okay one last game for kicks crystallis and there you have it they're loading perfectly now no issues so i think the hot boiling water fixed the issue if you guys give those three things a shot bend the pins make it tighter 
Uh, first try the hot boiling water. If that doesn't fix it, uh, you don't have to put it all back together. I leave it open like this and just put the two screws in here on both sides to hold that in place. Okay. And uh, you don't need to put any other screws. You can see my whole board is loose right now. And that just uh, will take care of it for you. All right, guys, I hope this helps anybody out that has issues with their Nintendo NES entertainment system. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Peace. Mm -hmm.